morning, sir. Good morning, morning, morning. Morning. I got it. Tonight begins a four-game road trip for the Toronto Raptors. They won't see a plus 500 team until December 21st against the Philadelphia 76ers. The time to make a move is now. Van Fleet with the steal. Loose ball, gobbled up. Siakam gets it now to Steady Freddy. Ahead over to Perno, running the floor and laying it up and in, and the Raptors by two. To those two free throws. Here's Kyle with the three. It's a team that drafted him. And the Toronto Raptors are going to come away with an impressive come from behind win. They've won now five in a row. Raptors improved to 16 and 7, 7 and 6 on the road, 6 and 3 against the Western Conference on the road. What got you the win was Fred Van Vliet diving on the floor. OG diving on the floor. All right, big time, big time. K Lo in the bound among tree. Post defense with JB and Yah and Serge. All right? All those things are winning plays, but we gotta do them in the first quarter and not put ourselves in that position. All right, and I don't know what the second unit's eating. You, you came back in the second half and played, but first half, man, you got to have some energy, all right? So I don't know what it is, but we gotta get ourselves going in the first half. All right, here we go. Come on, let's go to Sacramento. Let's get out early game. I could be ready for this work. You know, you know how we do it. Not very busy so far. I haven't really done anything to be honest. Yeah, I'm think. I don't know. I haven't been thinking about it. Might get Pascal something. You never know. Um, other than that, really don't know. It's a little different these days, you know. I'll give give to my my, my fellow former rookies. Maybe it'll probably just be something funny. Like I don't think. Like we're at a point where. I would give him something serious, like just like, you know, make it a joke. Make sure this doesn't air before Christmas starts so he, he doesn't know. I don't know. I, I don't think I'll have like that much imagination to get something funny. I don't know what I would, I would give to somebody like to make fun of him or something. You know, unless somebody got an idea or something. You guys have some ideas? I feel like you guys have some. I don't know. Let me know. When we were little, we had like, like we, we used to get like these like, it's like little like guns, like the little, um, not like actual guns, but like, you know, like those like toy guns or whatever, yeah, you know, man, like it was, that was fun. Like we used to like shoot around and stuff. So like that, that's what I kind of remember. I mean, the yeah, gift that definitely stands out, I guess, is when I was about 15, 16, my, my parents got me like a, like a super long bed, like a, especially made for, for my size, I guess, because I couldn't really fit in any other beds, so. That was always a really funny one. To me, like Christmas was like, if I get money, I'm good. That, that was my thing. Like I didn't, we didn't really care. Like, cause it's like mostly back home. It's like, okay, we eat together. It's like we, we cook a lot of food. We eat all together. And then from then, it's like it don't really matter. Like as long as I have money, I can go out somewhere and have fun. That's it. Like the, the trees there. Like we, all, I feel like I don't even know if we change trees. Like I feel like we have one tree for like I don't know for the longest time. <laughs> With deference to the weather in Southern Ontario and the greater Toronto area, standing in the bright sunshine here in the Valley of the Sun, the Raptors Sherm will try to put that win streak back on track. They had it snapped against the Clippers. DeMar sidestep, what a great move. And a soft touch. 33 now for DeRozan. And the Toronto Raptors escape the Valley of the Sun with a win. They'll return home for two home games. Brooklyn on Friday, Sacramento on Sunday, then they'll head back on the road in a back-to-back -back Charlotte and then Philadelphia.
for sailing with me. You do it, Carter? Kyle, the ball movement has been phenomenal for you. What, what's really going into that ball moving so frequently and so consistently? I think that was the, one of the biggest things that the, the organization, the coaching staff, uh, beside Bobby, they wanted to do is to, to lighten the load on myself and DeMar so where teams um, can't really just focus in on us and really get ready for playoff basketball to change up what we've done the last few years um, to try to be more successful. Uh, and I think it's just it attributed to the guys shooting the ball with confidence and everyone's taking shots and, you know, you make shots, you get assists and the ball moves even more and the ball finds good, good energy. I know it sounds like cliche, but it really is like that. Check, check. Gloves, check. Hat. Boots, check. Other way, Jack. You like my jacket? Get your pants. Get your something. I feel great. I mean, um, I've always kept myself in, in, in top shape and take care of my body. So um, I think the, the long-term effect, I'll feel it later. And right now, we're still so early into the season. I don't really start to feel those things in you know, 40 games, 50 games. Then you ask me. I think the schedule's been so good where we play three games in 13 days that the mental isn't as much you know when you get that mental break is more important like sometimes to just have that mental break okay you only got three games in 13 days you don't have to prepare for four games five nights travel 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 now it's kind of like we were home for 13 days we worried about three teams and three teams only within 13 days that's pretty good my ipad my ipad my, my ipad my ipad look oh. My iPad. My iPad. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Say good morning, Carter. Yeah. Come in and put a shirt on, Ken. Do you want to make a No, I'm good. I'm good. Major day so far? I'm gonna try to make it a little bit better. You know, we do this every year. We, we pick great schools and you guys have written some great letters and we were touched and moved by it. And, um, you know, it's, it's a great honor for me and my family to be here with you guys. But um, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. And uh, you guys are gonna go to Toys R Us with me and uh, spend some money and get some toys and have some fun. So we're gonna hop on this bus and uh, go have some fun. And, Spend some money and get some toys. Anybody, y'all ready to go? Y'all wanna go? Yeah. I don't know if y'all excited enough. I need to hear some, I need to hear some like, something. Y'all ready, ready to go? Yeah! You have made me so happy. Man, you appreciate it. No, you're not dreaming. This is live and real. This is live and real. It's an opportunity to give back, and you know the more, most important thing in this world is to be able to give back. You know we're fortunate enough to be able to give back to our community that we that we live in and that support us. So we, we do it. We give back every opportunity, every chance we can. Can't beat it, man. You can't beat it. I mean, it's just it's just it's just like you just see the overwhelming you know, joy that they have and it changes their lives, you know, they, they see what I can do and I give back and one day hopefully they can give, they can do and give back to, to their communities and the kids of the, uh, their future. 
as parents yourself, what about the message that you your your kids see that you guys are giving back to, right? Like how important is that for you to pass that on to your children? It's very important. I mean the kids see, you know, you know, we're very fortunate um, to have just the basic things and everyone doesn't have that. So we try to explain that to them and you know, let them see that, you know, today we're out here and we're giving back to some kids that definitely deserve it. They're out there doing good things and you know, we, we're giving back to them for what they've done. It's become a big topic. Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan have talked about how they want to play on Christmas Day. And this is the third largest market in pro sports. You got New York, LA, Toronto, Chicago. This is the best team in the NBA nobody talks about. Really? Like they're an afterthought. And it's utterly ridiculous. They have a terrific this is not this has been habit now. This is year five of it. I'm be I'm be honest with you, it's been like this for the last week. None of this matters until the playoffs. Let's, 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 we've had great regular seasons before. None of this matters until the playoffs. And I think that's what we're working towards. And we're not even close to where we can be. We're trying to initially, slowly build up our team, build up every, you know, individual, build up the roster and get, make sure everyone's strong when the time comes.